Good morning, everyone. Day 26. Can you believe it? Day 26 already. So today is shell. So in our um, design, so I have mentioned several times that one of the best things you can do, hands down, to increase your confidence and your skill level with doodling, hence, and then that leading to free, uh, uh, free motion quilting, is to do one design, do it really well, and then move on. Because then what happens is you do one design, you do it really well, then you learn a new design and you do that one really well. And then you put those two designs together and they have a baby. And now you have a whole new design. So I'm gonna show you one of my favorite um, designs that is the product of two designs. So it is the product of a regular swirl with a rainbow swirl. And when you combine a regular swirl with a rainbow swirl, you get a beautiful result. And it's like perfect for today's prompt of shell. Okay, so when we're doing a regular shell, we do swirl. So this is our basic um, swirl design, right? And then, so when you come in here, you're going to do your swirl. I usually start in the corner, and then I come to the end. I've I've hit my end. So now I just travel up, and then I just recreate that. And when I'm doing my swirls, I wanna make sure that the spacing is all very uniform. So I could actually keep going and just keep repeating it, but I'm going to show you, so then I can come along here and then I create a new design. Then I come in here and then I could just keep going with that. And in fact, I'm just gonna do one more layer because the, the, the trick with swirls is that you don't have to have it where they're all the same amount. Like they don't have to have all the same number of rings in the, in, the, in the design because the spacing is all very similar. And so that's what's gonna be really cohesive. So then I come, I'm gonna trace along here. Oh no, actually I'm gonna come in here and then I'm going to create my new swirl. And so you see what I'm doing here is I'm just stopping there and then I'm just coming over and then I'm creating that that new design okay so I can actually start my swirl anywhere I want and then I just keep going so this so because I know that design basic swirl and I know rainbow swirls this is what's going to come next and with the theme of um, okay so I'm going to bring in that and then um, so I'm going to come back and then I'm just going to do rainbow swirls all the way. Isn't that so cool? So then as I just, I rainbow that out, it really look, it's going to look like a shell. I know, right? You can totally do that one. I would love you to pr practice it. And of course, when you finish, just tag me. So you tag me, Dara Thomason. That's where I'm on Instagram. And then you just use the hashtag. Dara Doodle Challenge. I'd love to see what other ideas you have. That one is kind of like, just I really want to emphasize that to you. So you take two designs, so just a regular swirl and a rainbow swirl. You combine them together and that's what you get. Okay, can't wait to see what you do. I am looking forward to all of it. Take care.